Let's talk about how to draw as a kid. I took a piece of paper and I folded it this way and this way so that I sort of have a grid on here. You can do this too if you want, or you can just watch this part of the video to see sort of where I'm gonna place the segments of the cicada. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an oval, but we're gonna kind of squish it a little bit. Like there's a squishy oval. Now we're gonna bring, the, we're gonna draw the body. So this is the head of the cicada. We're gonna draw the body of the cicada and we're gonna go like to about right there. And I am going to draw it. It's kind of cute, right? And now we're gonna draw, there's a cicada has three pairs of legs and they're all gonna be in this top half of this segment. We're first gonna draw the top pair and I like to draw them together. So if I draw one over here, I'm gonna draw one over here sort of make those segmented leg parts. Now the second pair. And the third pair. That's cool. Now, all we have to do is the wings. And the wings are gonna start right here, at this corner and this corner. And they're gonna come all the way down to here. So I'm gonna draw this first wing. Ooh. See how I, I, I went right to that middle line? It kinda came like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. That's pretty cool. Now the wings have segments on them. Uh, you know, they're almost transparent, but I think they're kind of like that. And then a little like that. And then maybe like that. So if I draw something over here, I'm gonna draw the same thing over here. It's sort of like drawing with both hands again. And I can just sort of look, I'm looking over here when I'm drawing this one. And there we go. That's going to be our basic uh, cicada shape. Now I could, I could keep on, I could continue working on this as a drawing. Sometimes though, I don't like to draw on paper that's folded. Um, and so what I what, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and draw it on another piece of paper. This is, I, I do that a lot with my drawings and I just think it's kind of helpful. This is almost like my rough draft. And then over on another piece of paper, I can look at this while I redraw it over there. After I drew my cicada in crayon, I went over it with watercolor and the nice thing about when you use crayon and watercolor is that the water resists the wax on the crayon. So these lines stick out really nicely. So I was really pleased with this. If you want to test out your drawing skills or just improve them in any way, doing scientific studies uh, of bugs is a really great way to do it. For this one, I looked at a, um, at a, at a, at a photograph of a cicada. So I was able to really get some of the detail and like, you know, the fact that the wings are basically see-through and so you can kind of see these bottom, like the smaller wings um, underneath the larger ones. Um, I really liked um, doing that. I also might go back and uh, play around and add some, uh, some colored pencil to this to just kind of, um, you know, talk about the parts a little bit more and, you know, just because drawing is really fun.